Okay, so next step in the process is to flood coat this so we can lock all this spray paint in so it doesn't get damaged. We are gonna be putting this up in our company gym. So it's gonna be really cool. We got the Ligari name on it. Neri crushed this with the graffiti art. I told him to fill this whole panel up with just cool stuff, which he did. Used a lot of different colors. So we're gonna flood it, use a foam roller. And we're gonna be doing three ounces a square foot. If you put on our metallic epoxy too thick and clear, it'll have like a white, it'll have like a haze to it because of the defoamer agents in it, which makes our resin awesome because you don't have to torch it. But if you put on too thick, you will have a little haze to that clearness. Um, once the resin's dry, we're gonna drill our holes so we can do our standoff dowel so it looks really clean and cool. So we'll mix up our resin, get that coated. This is 32 square feet. Again, three ounces a square foot. So we need 96 ounces of mixed epoxy. So we'll get that mixed up. And then this is on aluminum panel. They have two thin sheets of aluminum. Sandwiched in between that is a sheet of foam. So they're really lightweight. These are awesome for art pieces, stuff that you're gonna hang on the wall. So we'll get started with mixing and get this thing coated. So when you're dumping the, the bead out in the middle, you wanna to try to get it even, right? We don't want it really fat and then really skinny. So what I'm doing now is just kind of making sure it's nice and even all the way down. And then all we're gonna do is just cross roll it. Reason we use a foam roller is because we don't wanna have any loose hairs getting in it. And obviously this is a warehouse, so we'll probably have some debris and stuff fly into it, but that's all right. <laughs> 